<laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel! No. <laughs> I'm excited! <laughs> okay, this is my best friend Ginny. My name. TikTok or Instagram, and today I'm teaching my white best friend how to make kimchi. Woo! <laughs> my name is Bridie, not Ginny. <laughs> so what are we making today, Bridie? Kimchi! Yes, but what kind of kimchi is that, Bridie? <laughs> Cabbage kimchi! Yes, uh -huh. but we're making fresh kotjori kimchi, which is basically something you don't ferment, you just eat it straight away, you don't have to wait. The biggest difference is you don't pickle it with salt. So first step, you get your cabbage. You want to peel your cabbages. You don't have to waste the ends, you can put it in your stew or give it to your guinea pig. <laughs> if you've got one guinea pig, <laughs> no. you, can, you can put it in a stew, you can make Korean pancakes with it, but we are only using the inside of it. Ta -da! Ta -da! And we're gonna wash it. Nice. And we're gonna wash it the second time later. Absolutely. You get your knife. Oh, yeah. That is brilliant. <laughs> You're gonna cut this, but the thing is, you don't cut it here. You know why? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> I know why. What's why? Where do you cut it? So you wanna... You'll see the stem here. Crunchiness. You wanna cut this out like a circle. Then you wouldn't waste all this part. Yeah. Wow. So you just get your knife. Get your knife. And you stick it in here. Oh. Cut it in a circle. Like so. Now everyone's gonna know how bad I am at cooking. Why? Because <laughs> they get to see me in a longer video and like struggle. I edit my struggles out. You do? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a funny one. And you just. <laughs> this is great. Okay. <laughs> and then you just start peeling them. Okay. Okay. I've got this. Okay. 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 We don't have to do it one by one though. Oh. Crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's the right way to do it. And then you just cut this part off. And you still like eat this part. This wow. part you don't eat. Now we're gonna wash it and come back. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm messing a lot of the steps up, but you know what? Kimchi is about trying, trying your hardest, and getting it wrong every single time, and then learning. Oh, you wow. <laughs> need to write a book. <laughs> Another pro tip about cutting your cabbages when you're making kotjori is that you get the little ones, and you want to slice the little ones vertic. Is that vertically? Vertically, right? Horizontal, but vertically. vertically. Yeah, yeah. And then with the bigger leaves, you want to cut it diagonally. Why, you may ask, is that? Because the bigger ones, you want to add like the leaf as well as the stem. Do you get it? Like so, the texture. But the little ones, you get an even amount of the leaves and the stem. Do you get it? <laughs> Do you actually? <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> Yes, so now we're just gonna put them and start slicing. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Let's and we're gonna this. put them in here after sure. we slice it. The little ones you don't really have to cut, like little ones like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. Doing such a good right <laughs> job, sweetie. Such a good job. Now chuck it all in there. Yeah. Perfect. Amazing. Ah! Also, another pro tip. Things I can't share on short form content. You get the leaf, right? You roll it up. And then you cut it so it's easier. Oh. Yeah, like this. Look how easier that is. Wow. Yeah. Now we're up to our next vegetables. What do we have? We have. That's not a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got garlic. We got spring onion. We got onions and a carrot. And then we got Korean pear and apples. <laughs> My dad said the best fruit to use in a kimchi is persimmons and Korean pear. But if you don't have any, other sweet fruits are fine. I actually used watermelon once. Do you mind washing that for me? No buckets, Barry. Yeah, while I prep the other veggies. Lovely, say that you, you love, love me. Fool that is me, a big fool pear. Me. I love it. Yeah, it's massive. Okay, I'm gonna blend the apples, the pear, and the onion. But, it, oh, and the garlic, but we're gonna use the carrot and the spring onion as toppings. To be honest, you don't really need spring onion and carrots, but it's just for colors and textures and taste. Yeah, taste! <laughs> you wanna cut your pear in half. I think that's a pear. I know, it's really big. Look, look how massive that is. Wow. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> You just want to get rid of where the seed is and the stem, but you don't have to get rid of the skin. The skin is fine. Alright, you want to do the same things with the apples. I cry every single time I cut an onion. Really? Yeah. Only third time today. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, okay. I think I added a bit too much. <laughs> it's hurting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now everything's in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna blend it. Beautiful. Wow. That's so cool. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> right? <laughs> the fumes are getting to me. One more secret ingredient is rice. Rice is good for a lot of things, but the sauce, it becomes like you know, thicker obviously, so it sticks better onto the vegetables, it tastes better and ferments better. But we don't really need the fermented prefer the fermentation benefits because oh. we're not fermentating. Yeah. So we're just gonna plop that in there. Satisfying. That's really satisfying. And that's majority of our sauce done. Wow, that's yeah. easy as. Yeah, but we do have to add more of the we do have to add these. These are best friends. These are your best friends when you're making kimchi. You have plenty of jobs to do. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay, peel the garlics. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> While I um do this part. My hair. Not the garlic. We're gonna do that later. Oh. So we're gonna pour all of this out. My eyes are dying. <sighs> kimchi making if you don't have that you can still use any type of fish sauce or squid sauce yeah this is korean fish sauce mm. oh we're gonna do 30 mils oh let me just put it come here right come here as well breathe 
off. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna add some plum syrup or plum extract. This just adds a bit of sweetness and like more flavor to it. You don't need it, but it's really good if you got some. About 20 mils. And then for sweetener, we're gonna add some corn syrup. You can do it. I don't think I can do it too. It's still hurting. This took a really weird twist. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna add some chili powder. This is also very spicy for your eyes. Is it? Oh my yeah. gosh. Look, I don't really have a measurement for these things, but just add little by little. Oh, and see oh. where it takes you. Sorry, Why? Sorry. Why? I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do kimchi. <laughs> If you're not too sure of how much chili powder to add, you can kind of tell by the color and the consistency. Right now, that's looking a bit too watery and not as red. So we want to add just a bit more. Look how professional I'm being. I love it. I'm like pushing on, you know? We're gonna have a little taste test. <laughs> That's looking, that's looking quite splendid. <laughs> Mataya. <Okay. laughs> okay. You're gonna, no. Oh. You get a little bit, you get your fingy and you dip it. Oh, there's rice on it. Mm. It's really sweet, but it needs a bit more of this fish sauce. Okay. It needs a bit of salt. I didn't add salt yet. A bit more fish sauce. And this is how you make kimchi. You just, oh. <laughs> That's okay. I think I need to add a little bit more of soy sauce. Add 20 mils more of soy sauce. See what where that takes us. It does smell lovely. Thank you. When you're making kimchi, it has to be stronger in flavor than you think it should be because you're mixing it with the vegetables. That means it's like baking. Eh? It, it's, it gets less intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get yourself a kimchi container. This one is from the brand called Dimche. It's a really popular option for Koreans to make kimchi. The containers are great for kimchi. <laughs> I'm so done. Oh, can you cut this spring onion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is everything so spicy today? I don't know. Last step! Carrots! Come on. It's coming back. It's coming back. I was my nose. You want to cut them into coins? Diagonally, like this. Right? And you start <laughs> cutting them in strips like this, very thin. <laughs> you gonna add that in? You gonna add that in your carrot? You add it in. <laughs> you look done with life. <laughs> we're nearly done. Look at that mix. We're just gonna mix that up and mix this too and we're done. Easy there. Give it a whirl. Oh, okay. here is my levy. Yes. Wow. Yeah, you don't want to be too rough. Okay. Because you don't want to damage the leaves. Yeah. That's good. Wow. I think we're not going to have enough sauce. <laughs> I like it. It's, yeah. After a day, it will be better. I don't know if this is the most efficient way. No, we'll make it work. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Kimchi. That is how you make kimchi in a very <laughs> interesting way. Yeah, but we did it. We did it. And you can do it too. Subscribe. Subscribe. Follow, like. Leave a comment and let us know what video Ginny should make next.
my recipe videos will get better. I know this one was a bit traumatic, but it's my first ever video. It's the best I can do. He did amazing. Don't cry. <laughs> it's still here. It's still here. Okay, 